Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build the hang on the back version of the canister filter. Now many of you wanted to see the horizontal version of this because we've already done the vertical version. While both are actually very similar, the horizontal canister filter is actually easier to build, set up, and take care of. You'll want to start out with some 4-inch PVC pipe, a male ABS threaded end cap, and gasket. A 4-inch female adapter, a 4-inch end cap, and some fittings to make your own bulkheads. Now some of these parts might be new to some of you, or you might not fully understand them. However, we've covered them all in detail in past videos, which I'm going to link at the end of this video. To put this together, we drilled both caps large enough to accommodate our do-it-yourself bulkheads. We would then cement the end cap in place, as well as the female adapter, but not the male threaded cap. The input is slightly different. I used two elbows, a bit of PVC pipe, and a reducer, as well as a 90 degree barbed fitting. For the output, we will use four PVC elbows and some PVC pipe all cemented together after dry testing to ensure they're all the right angles. I used one inch fittings here, which will allow less restriction of flow. Once I was satisfied with the fit, I spray painted the whole canister to give it a finished look. Now it's ready to be set up. For media, I would use Lava Rock. As mentioned in my video on do-it-yourself filter media, this is a fantastic biological filter media for a submerged application like this canister filter. Given its size, I can just add it in loosely as it won't clog the output or the input. For mechanical, just use some sponge or filter floss at the entrance. The total cost here for the canister and the media was about $25. Now cost will vary slightly, but it's certainly a good starting point and an average price. With that said, you can increase the length of this canister and costs don't really go up that much. In fact, a foot long canister filter like this would cost pretty much the same as a four foot long version would. As the only thing that actually changes is the length. You'll obviously need a pump to run one, but costs vary so much on them that it will really come down to the type and brand you're using. For something like this though, you don't need an expensive or powerful pump anyways. Now you probably have some concerns about the weight of something like this being on your tank, and it's nothing to really worry about. In fact, hang on the back refugiums have been used for many years and weigh a lot more than one of these do. Based on its ability to be as big or as small as you like, these can be used on almost any reasonably sized aquarium. To clean it, you simply disconnect the pump and twist off the cap to replace the mechanical media. Now for more details on suggested flow rates, sizing this to your tank, and other information, check out my other videos where we cover canister filters already, or get my book and check that out where we really get in depth about filtration. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I also wanted to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next Sunday for a new do-it-yourself project.